we've got Desmond Ritter. Yeah. When you look at his tape, what stands out about him? Well, uh, Grady can speak to this. He came in as a rookie last year, and he's a guy that played so many collegiate football games. He's a leader. You yeah. can tell when he steps into the locker room. And Arthur Smith said one thing to him. Don't put us in a bad position. Don't turn it over. And it's exactly what he did. This is straight air raid mentality. You flush the right side of the field. You bring everybody else along on the outside and just get everybody to run. He goes through his true progression. He may be able to hit him on the outside there to get him into the end zone. He doesn't feel comfortable with that, knowing he can come back to his outlet perfectly underneath, wide open, and he puts it on the money. Now, people don't think this to navigate this player coming free in your face to make sure he doesn't knock it down. He does. He finds a way to get rid of it, get it to the wide receiver and Zacharias and puts it in for a touchdown. Now, this is the simple things that he needs to execute. And when you have the kind of talent in Drake London, mm -hmm. Kyle Pitts, and now you add B. John Robinson to the mix, this mm -hmm. team could be very competitive offensively because he doesn't turn the football over, which allows a great defense led by this guy Absolutely. to really make a connection. What was your thoughts on the rookie quarterback and how he effectively uh, gave you guys more chances down the stretch last yeah, year. Yeah, man, without a doubt. He came in, didn't flinch when we needed him to, uh, came and won some games for us. But uh, I'm super excited for him to get this opportunity to be the leader, you know, to have the keys passed to him because he ready for it. Like you say, he's been nothing but a winner his whole college career. And as a pro, we see that continue to go. But um, like I say, his leadership skills, but also the physical skills that he has. I mean, as a he's gotten bigger this offseason. Um, as a runner, he's athletic. And then as a pa passer, he can get the ball anywhere on the field. So, I mean, I mean, he got, we got the weapons around him to be able to do his thing, so um, I'm excited to see him. What, you, what, sorry, Cam, I wanted to ask you about this. How, how important was it that you got somebody in there like Taylor Heineke, though? You know, oh, just yeah. a guy to, who has some experience, understanding, who maybe can mentor yeah. a young quarterback, but also you know as a yeah. veteran – if anything goes down, without you got a guy who can step in and make without it. Without a doubt, without a doubt, man. Heineke a baller. You know, he, he unfortunately, for us, he beat us twice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so I mean, it's, it's good for our team to have him as a backup, and it's good for Dez to have somebody to, um, to help him, you know, become a better pro and to take a little pressure off, too. You know what I'm saying? So somebody that's, that's been in the fire, being put in super hard uh, situations, that's been to the playoffs as a starting quarterback, to have them on your team is definitely a comfort for everybody as well. I and the competition, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Competitions breed out the be bring out the best in all of us. So Dez is obviously going to be a starter here this year. And I spent some time in Atlanta. Arthur Smith loves yeah. Dez Ritter. He, they drafted him knowing what he did in Cincinnati. He raised about his toughness. He said, this dude in the fourth quarter, we know that he is not going to flinch. We know that he's going to get us some. And if you know Arthur Smith, he breeds toughness. And so yeah. I'm, I'm curious if you've already seen that so oh, yeah. far in him. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt, man. His makeup is is, is right. He's true. Uh, He's true to what, is, what it's all about. And that's just being a leader, being a stand-up dude. And uh, the player is going to take care of himself. And I think he's going to shock a lot of people.